Hey, what's up? Neil of the Walter Variety here for the Guitar Tricks channel. Remember, if you're not watching on Guitar Tricks, you're missing two. One extra free lesson, two total. Every week, just go to guitartricks.com forward slash channel. Sign on up and I'll send them to you. Woohoo! Lesson this week is on using chords in a lead. Shorten to chord lead. Handy. And our tip of the week is if you're starting out learning how to incorporate chords, two or three note chords in your solos, here's one easy thing to remember that you can take any chord shapes that you know in the lower register of the neck, say A, or maybe uh, inverted D, B, and you can use those an octave up as chords in a lead. So you can use your A chord by just barring the two or three notes here with that inverted D or the B. So you can use any variation of those, pick out the notes that you want to use from those chords. And it's really easy to visualize because it's just 12 frets above. That'll give you a good start in wrapping your head around what chords to use while you're soloing. On our lesson of the week, I think it's a really cool lick and I think that you would like it too. So I'm gonna show it to you. It's in the key of D major. And it goes a little something like this. One more time, because it sounds so cool. Now, the idea behind this lick, it's actually three licks in one. And it's based, if you think about the D major chord. If you think about blues, rock and roll, blues. You have that basic boogie pattern. If you to extend those notes with their harmonies, you'd have. What I'm doing here is um, I'm barring the three notes on the seventh fret of the B, G, and D string. And then I'm just playing the two notes here, for the B string and the D string. And same here, just plucking the B string and the D string. So that's one of the licks. Then the other lick is just right, it's like a major hammer-on, hammer-on to the D, tonic of the, of the scale. And then uh, what I'm doing is sliding down to the seventh of the D to give it that bluesy sound. And then I'm going into, but I'm picking uh, the D, D string first, sliding up, sliding up, picking, yeah. So you have the, um, you can either do a hammer on or a slide up to start the lick. Either one of those. And then slide down two frets, and then grab that shape right here from the D chord, it's actually a D7 shape. But we're just plucking the D and B string. Slide up. You've got that nice uh, harmonic, melodic sound going on. One more time slowly. Now if you're soloing in the key of D major, um, you can pretty much play around with these chords right here and see which ones fit the best for what you're playing over. But um, this would be a version of if you were to take that D inverted chord and move it up here to the F position. So that would be like an F chord, you're just pulling out. So you know that one will sound good over the F chord. Nice little two note leads for you right there, harmonic and melodic. And it's a great way to kick things off if you're learning about chords in lead. Hope this helps you out. Tune on in in seven days and I'll have a fresh brand new spanking lesson for you. See you then, later.